Hold on, I need a mute. Good morning, Lori B. One day closer. One day closer. Yep, that's right. I'm mixed median again. Is that a word? Mixed median? Mixed media in? I don't know. All right, move my I'm just looking through my papers. I think I'm going to use this one. Because another one of my favorite things is scissors, rulers, fabrics, things like that. So I think I want to use this. Um, this is just coming out of my own brain today. Last night I had like a little guide, but yeah, I didn't follow that thing. Anyways, I need cardboard. Hold on. Oh, geez. Can I get to it? Ah, oh, be happy when this is over. Oi. Hold on. In cardboard. Oh my gosh. It's like Jenga in here. Hi. Or Twister. Like playing Twister. I need cardboard. I know I will. Eventually. There's some my scissors. I think I might want to pick a bigger pair. I have like oh I don't know, thirty pairs of like antique scissors. Scissors. I'm looking for regular scissors. Yeah. Oh, geez, I look up. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, Paula. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Zoe. How you doing? Um, I think I'm going to use this paper. It is called Moda. I got this from uh, Two L's and Mary Just Mary. But it's going to serve my purpose. These papers are amazing. I don't know if you guys have these tissue papers, but they are awesome. Okay, that's not what it looked like. Hold on. Hold on. I have six of them. I'm working to get the collection. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a collection. What's this? I can't see what this pattern is. Oh, you know what I can use? I know what I can use. Oh, it involves me going back through the... Yeah, this is music. Oh, duh. It's called Musica. Duh. I know Romantica is not it. Heart Postal, Moda, The Scientist. Yeah, none of that. Okay, never mind. Anyway, that paper is really good, though. Seriously. Hold on. Let me walk back through the twister. I don't know what to do. Uh, hold on. Hold on. from you here. That's what I want. Stay. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. I went pattern paper. I think that's what I'll use. Pattern paper. Tino. I'm back already this morning. I can't stop. Tina, I can't stop. I'm in a hole, a rabbit hole. I can't stop. So, 
I hope you guys enjoy. In no way is this a tutorial. Wow, not even close a tutorial. No, mm -mm. I am not the one. I'm just playing. Just playing. Um, I was going to use, oops, where's my trash can? Oh, there it is. Oh, so I collected my bag of rust last night. <laughs> I got a pretty big bag of rust. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use some of this. Makes more sense, right? So I'm doing like a, uh. I'm doing my favorite things, basically. Sorry, kind of in your face. Last night I did this, which that spoon is like one of my favorite spoons. Oh, I found another one, by the way. So I have two extra. Um, the Fleur de Lis. So, so freaking cute. It just makes me happy. It makes me happy. I haven't sealed it yet. It's um, it's in this little box by itself. Probably can move that. Um. I was going to use these scissors, but looking at it on my clipboard, those are a little tiny. So, looking around my room, ah, uh, they're everywhere. Um, I want a bigger pair of scissors because I think I need a bigger pair of scissors. I kind, they kind of get. Ooh, these are cool. Oh, for Pete's sake, don't y'all fall down now. Yeah, I like these. Okay, let me put these up here. Sorry, they all kind of fell. They're on hooks. And if you move one, they all seem to just, you know, do their own thing. Yeah, I want this pair right here. I think this is better. Yeah, those are better. Ooh, those are nasty. Wow. What if they cut? Highly doubtful. Anyway, so I'm on this kick. That's it. I'm on a kick. I, I need to know something. Hi, Pearl. Uh, hi, Brave One. Hey, Buttercup. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Hello, everyone. Let me scroll back up. Um, Good morning. Yeah, I'm back at it. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Okay, I have a question for all you mixed media people. I can't get this off my hands. This is um, that clear matte gesso. I scrub my hands with um, like a brush. I've rubbed them on the concrete. I can't get it off. And when it comes off, my skin is red underneath it. Um, like it's just peeling. And I can't get the gesso off. Is there like a chemical that I put on? Like, what do I do? Like, that is gesso and color from last night. I don't know how to get it off my hands. And it's driving me nuts because y'all know how I feel about glue on my hands. It's all on my fingernails. It's terrible. It's terrible. Anyone have a good bleach water? Ooh, bleach water. Hey, Jamie, good morning. Yeah, the game's all here. Bleach water, really? Okay. And now I'll take it right off. I, I cannot get this gesso off. It, it's, or not gesso, this, it's that matte gel medium. And it's just, it's stuck. And you can feel like my hand right here. Oh, it's primed and ready to paint right here. I cannot get it off. And I have like one of those scrub brushes like uh, for underneath like your nails and everything from, you know, just if I ink or whatever is, is, is not, it's not coming off. So bleach water, I just soak it. What do you mean? I think Donna, what are you talking about? Hello, Whitman. Oh, you're talking about this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so much worried about that. I just want to just this clear matte stuff off my hands. Oh, and so I don't spill on my desk. I have one of these. Um, 
because I don't bring water around my electronics. So hopefully this will not spill, but I do have water today. I should have had some last night. Really? You're a little grouchy, huh? Too much sleep? Oh, I didn't think about nail polish remover. Hey, that might work too. I don't know. All I know is it's driving me crazy because last night I used my fingers. Today I'll be using my brushes for it. That was, I don't know. And you guys know I came and stamped fabric attack on my hands. And this, ugh, ugh, I was outside on the concrete like this. And it was just like peeling. And it's still, you can see it's still not done. And every time like I take some off, it's red underneath. Um, I don't think I'm having a allergic reaction because like my hands would be blown up right now, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyways, um, I'm going to get started. Uh, who's that pattern paper? I'm going to read, miss my thing, like things from my room of uh, my favorite things. Um, I collect scissors. Uh, I collect rulers. Um, I collect a lot of things, but I have a lot of rulers, that's for sure. Tape measures, things like that. Not like the pull-out tape measures, like the cloth. Those. Um, yeah. Sorry for the ripping. Got earbuds and take them out. Okay. I just want some to put down on this thing. Which I'm going to prep with. Um, I'm going to put it down with clear just so. So I have some texture. I have pearl. Have a great day. Miss your face. Um, these were my brushes from last night. This is what I used to put it down. Okay. And I have some paper towels too. So I'm sure I'm going to need that. I so much really want the plane. Even though it'll be layers and texture. I'm just going to put some of this down on my page. Or not my page. Whatever this thing is. What am I working on? Clipboard. That's what I'm working on. This stuff is really cool. Seriously? Seriously, Pia. Hold on. I'm like, shut up. Probably nobody I wanted to talk to. Sorry, Jaden is not home yet, so it, my phone is on. Pia is on. Day. This is probably like watching a kindergartner. Sorry. But I'm having fun. And plus, you guys can uh, talk amongst yourselves.
Sorry, I'm in the zone. Oh my goodness, come on now. This stuff dries fast. In the water dish. Oh, fun. I don't want a nice, neat edge. Again, not a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Besides so blinking. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let me go. Hey, Lynn. Lynn, you caught a live. I've been seeing all your comments. Thank you very much. Melanie. Saw your pools last night, Melanie. Fun, right? Okay, I'll show it again. You know why it's called Pia, right? Trying with my left. So I can scroll through. But <laughs> it's not me, Donna. Their color and hang up. Oh, Cindy, it'll still be up. Yeah, it is a little messy, that's for sure. That that day was that was messy. That was fun though. They turned out really good. Um this is what I did last night. I'm not going to take it out of the thing because I have to spray it because we use rust dust. It was so fun. It's all my favorite things. Well, not all my favorite things, but this this is a spoon looked like this. And we used magicals and we used liquid acrylics and there was twine and there's letters and there's flowers and there's beads and fabric and cheesecloth and yeah that's what I made last night in a little tin it's an altered tin I have to spray the sides 
because it's got rust dust on it and it doesn't want to stay on. Staying on like the Jessa Park, but it does move. It was fun. It's really fun. All right, I need some heavy gesso because I'm painting this a little bit. Uh, let me go bigger. Go bigger, go home. Today, the focal point I want to be is this. Um, I also have like two glass bottles. I don't know what size I'm going to use yet, but I have a container of white buttons that are all the same size. If I remember where I flip and put it. Oh, there it is. Um, so I want to put some buttons in there. But as we learned from last night with Debbie Kip and Amanda and Jamie, uh, layers. Lots of layers. So we're going to layer it up. I'm telling you, that clear gesso, boy, does that put some grip on this. Really. I like it. Right, it's some texture going with the um, pattern paper. This is going to be different up here, so I'm going to just. I'm going to use my waxes today. You know, right? That's what I forgot last night. My waxes. Using waxes. Use my magicals. And use my waxes. I'm sorry, I'm out, I'm out of frame. Try to zoom in closer for you guys. We might be a little too close. Ooh, look at all this fun stuff back here. These cool gears and not gears, but springs. Who knew a clipboard was so technical? Fun. I want to open it and try and get under there. This little puppy is strong. There we go. There. That's a big glob. I like that. Oh, it looks, I like that water dish. Kind of came in handy. I like it. Like it a lot. Donna's got an eye for finding those little slanted jars. I have a bunch on my shelf. Nothing falls out. Hoping the water doesn't fall out. Okay. These are a really cool color, but I'm going to gesso them for sure. Sorry, oh my hands. Hey, Gypsy. How you doing, honey? Hi, Angie. How are you? It is, right? I totally, Melanie. Like, I love France. Look at the Bordelais. I just, I love it. I love pink. It's vintage. It's rusty. It's all the things. All the things. All the things. And it's so fun and it just makes me happy to look at it. That's all that matters. I, it just makes me happy to look at. I'm not getting rid of it. It's, it's mine and it's from my room and I like it. I'm going to get them to kick it, trying to clean my hands. Sorry. Okay. Let me 
think for a minute. Feel the ground moving. All right, I know I want to put down some fabric, obviously. I got this old doily. Looks almost cogish, right? Like little cogs. Um, this little doily. I think I'm going to cut this in half. Not to confuse. Oh, there's flowers all around. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. So I want like things on the side. Would help if it was right side up, wouldn't it? Yeah, that probably would help. Duh. And things like that. Want some of these? I have no idea where I got this. It's just been in my stash. Like I was saying last night, it was amazing the things I found in my stash that work for this. It's just stuff. Getting things together. All right, looking up. I'm sorry I'm not looking up as much. Yeah, I got uh, one of my uh, tape measures out. And then I thought about, um, I have a wooden, wooden ones. I don't like breaking those, though. And then I have one of those that like fold out and I thought about taking a piece off of that because it might fit but I think it's a little too big and at the moment what the heck is those those might be down in my living room on my bookshelf because they're all over it's all over the house it's all over the house it's all over the house oh my gosh look up there on this shelf I, I totally forgot about these things. Hold on. Whoops. <clears throat> I got a whole thing of pouncers. Nice. I was just sitting up on my shelf as decoration. Okay, that'll work. Can you guys hang on just for a second? I am so sorry. Um, I have to mute for a moment. Um, if you have anything going on, uh, now's the time to let everybody know. Don't forget tomorrow, Dr. Sash. Uh, I'll be right back. I got something I got to do. Hold on. Somebody's at my door.
Sorry about that. Put my glasses back down. Okay, Gypsy. I know you're here, honey. Hey, Lori Gordon. How are you? I hope all is well, Angie. You can talk on your TV. Just plug in the keyboard to one of the USBs in the back. You sure can. Yeah, you can. Okay, so I, would, I know I want to use some of this. I know I want to use buttons. I don't know what size jar I want to use yet. Donna, we still have to go to the Dollar Tree. I can't even. It's crazy. It's crazy. But not today because you're grouchy. <laughs> I need this again. That's messed up right there. Okay. Sorry, I had to fix it. All right. Put that and that. I have buttons. Things like this, like sorry silk. I'm gonna tie a string around the bottom of it. Um, those are my good scissors. Keep those away. Don't come near me. Oh, oh, uh, my medals. Where's my medal? Where's my medals? Um. Oh, it's not in my medals. It's in my jewelry thing. Okay. Sorry if this makes noise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me get you in there. This is my jewelry I haven't, believe it or not, rested. Some of you guys actually saved it. <laughs> oh, look what happened. Jamie, there's that flat bottle cap from last night. Ah, uh, was looking for that. I put it in my drawer here. We were looking for that last night. Sorry. Go away. What one of those? Want a cameo? and things like that. I knew I had those scissors and metals. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm so sorry. Done with that. Okay, let me get some safety pins and things. The things which are where are the things? Okay. The vintage sewing pins, but I don't think I want to use those. Use some that I wouldn't normally use or care for the color for. Not really a into the gold. Um, my big ones. 
my big ones. Hold on. Big ones, big ones, big ones. Who is my big one? Oh, there it is. Right here it is. Here's my big sewing hands. These puppies are pretty decent size. Want some of those shooting out. Um hold on. I don't know if I have any in this jar or not, but I, oh yeah, I do. These things are dangerous. Um, I rested these a long time ago. I was going to sell them, but these are deadly. <laughs> They're deadly. They're T-pins. Um, and they're used sometimes in sewing. These things are the sharpest little things, I'm afraid, like, since I rested them. Even though it's natural ingredients that I use, I don't want anyone to have to get a tetanus shot. So I have not sold those. Um, <laughs> they're scary. They're very scary. All right, got some of those. All right, what can you guys think of? Hi, Joe. How are ya? Sweet lady. Guys, got any ideas that you want to see on here that we can mix up? Um, remember, the theme is sewing. We are, I already have a pattern down. Because this is just kind of like a little stuff. What can you think of? Give me, it sounds like I'm right in your kitchen. Should I talk lower? Am I, am I too loud? I'm sorry. Um, wow. Hello everyone. Wow. Gee, again, no way a tutorial here. What can you guys think of? I know there's a little bit of a lag this morning. Um, what do you think I could put on here? The I want the focus to be on the keys. And I got two different bottles out because I want to wrap some twine around the bottle. And I don't know if this one is too big. I got a small one. This is from Stamperia. Uh, mm, this is from Dollar Tree. I like those much better. Would I get these again? Probably not. The glass is definitely a little bit thicker. But um, I have this box. I have vintage buttons everywhere. If I wanted to put these in here. These are all the same size. I did not separate these, believe me. So I do want to add some of these in a jar. I don't even know if you guys can tell what color they are because the jar or the buttons are the same color as the container. Okay. So I want to add some of those. So a little button jar. I'm going to put some twine around it and maybe put it down here somewhere. Wow, get the lid back on straight. Hold on. No, there's no nothing bothering it. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, oh, just regular buttons. Duh. So I got some of those. Those are right here. I'm going to use some of these. So that little bottle can be for a curio cabinet. I don't even care. What else can you think of? What else can you think of? Small spool. I was thinking of that too, Paul. I'm thinking if I have small ones. I have a chipboard dress from spools. I have die cuts. I have die cut dress forms, if that's what you're talking about. I have die cuts. Die cuts work. All right. All right. Just send me around my room, everyone. Just send me around my room. Let's see. Where's my die cuts? Wait a minute. Everything's been moved. Because I switched my room around. Okay. Die cuts, die cuts, die cuts. 
It's in they're in a huge box. I think I might have put them under my bed. Because they're in a big box. Y'all don't want to see underneath this bed, let me tell you. Oh, more stuff for the same. Okay, die cut box. Die cut box. Nope, that's a vagabond. <laughs> how about this paper? How about uh <laughs> how about this safety pin? Look how big that puppy is. That thing is huge. I've yet to do something with that. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. I think this is it. Nope, that's not it. Really? What? Today could be a while, ladies. It could be a while. Um, oh, so my old heat gun is in here. Hey, that's kind of nice. Take those out. Oh, what about like a hanky? Like towards the end, like shove it up under. Something like a hanky, maybe? I hope you guys can hear me. Because I have this set of hankies that I have kept forever. Um, hold on, let me put this back. If I don't put it back, it will be a mess. Alright. It's just crazy the things that you have around your house that you can use. Not my die cut box. It's black, Donna. Where'd I put it? You know this room as well as I do. I don't know where I put it. Hold on. It's like a huge black box. Donna, where's my huge black box? Ooh. Let's just drop something. Hold on. Huge black box. Oh! Found it! Got it. Okay. I really gotta get some vintage bundle buttons together. They're just freaking all over. Okay, I found it. Okay. Nalisha is delicious. How are you? Oh my gosh. I'm like dream walking. Hi. Oh my gosh. How are you? I have missed you. You have been missed. Dream walking and you guys is do you guys uh, remember uh well I call her Nalisha is delicious. I just, hi, I miss you so, oh, I miss, I miss you, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you, um, I like the idea of needles, okay, all right, you know, books, tiny spool. Okay, I really gotta look for a tiny spool. I do have simplicity patterns, like vintage ones. Uh, I already put pattern paper down. Um, you're doing much better with something wrong? Oh, 
Aww, well, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, I've missed you so. Oh my God, I'm so excited that you're here. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so die cuts. Yeah, I have a lot. Um, what am I looking for? Dress forms. Okay, dress forms. Looking, looking. Nope, that's a lady. The doily. These are ladies. ladies no dress forms but I do have one chipboard dress form I do know that All right. seeing if I had something in that okay it's my die cut box okay I do have a chipboard one which is Where you at, girl? Where you at, girl? Here you are. Okay. Got a dress form. Okay. Dress form. Check. Spool. Let's see. A small one, though. Uh, I don't have, like, those little baby ones. The smallest I would have would be, you know, like the normal small. Um, I think, I'm thinking. What do you think about a thimble? I get thimbles. I think I do. No, nope, that's the tape drawer. Symbols would be in here if I had any. Oh, I have one of these things. What about that? Not for like, that's like a hem thing. Like it slides and everything. How awesome is that? That's kind of cool. Uh, I like that. Let's see, let's see. Nope, this is not a paper clip one or anything like that. No staples. Nope, nope. Found some more parchment paper that I did not have. Alicia, that's awesome. Oh, thanks, Angie. Yep. Yeah, boy. Great minds think alike. Yes, Angie, a thimble. Yes. No crying. <laughs> Lori B, what are you crying for? No cry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Melissa! Ah, I'm. I, I. I really will pray for you and hope that you you stay well, my friend. I've missed you very, very much. Very, very much. All right, G. Let's see. Do I have any sewing notions? Oh, why? Yes, I do. Um. Sure, I can find a thimble in here. This is all the things I really did want to get packages made up of these for the stocker stash, but I just 
it's there's just tons of it it's just tons of it everywhere stay oh what about like hey paula what about hook and eyes <laughs> oh like them hook and eyes all right what do we got in here i'm looking for small spools oh here's a Oh, cool. Oh, no way. There's a blue. I I didn't go through this yet. What about this key? Because this is the one that opens your screw on your sewing machine. Yeah, it does. Look what I just found. A blue, yellow, uh, mine. Mm hmm. I want a blue one. Know so much about needles. All right, so thumb thimbles, some snaps. Um, looking for a small. Ooh, ooh, what about this? What about um? Well, not really like a knitter, but some knitting supplies. Sewing related, yeah. Got some knitting needles. Those are too big for the thing, though. But I have some that are in the... What is this? Crochet? I don't know. I don't do this craft. Knitting needles. Crochet hooks. Yeah, let me see if we can find some that are open. Okay. Those things are just weird. I don't even know what those are. You guys know what these are and, and why do they have those plastic things on there I, I don't know what that is I don't know what it is cool okay let's go down towards the bottom of this bag this is a bag of goodies hello electric rug no not I used to do them when I was a kid this is a really small Crochet hook. That's cute. You guys, I found purple scissors. Wow. Oh, oh, look what's in here. Hold on. I'm not going to use these little so Look, the purple scissors. <laughs> no one tell. How cute are those? We're going in my collection. What about this right here? I think like career. Ooh, what a pretty package of needles. Okay. We're getting some stuff. All right. I'm just in the first bag. Hold on. Jeez, I can crochet needles for days. All right. I don't know what this stuff is. Stay right there. Looking for little spools. So far, I'm not having any luck. Even a bobbin would be neat. Mm. We're done. What's in this little container? Well, baby pins for diapers. Okay, I found a thimble, but it's not metal. It's plastic. We don't want that one. Even though we can make it look like metal, we don't want that. Okay, so this bag is... Wow. I'll make packages of this someday. I don't even... I don't even know. It's a lot of crocheted knitting stuff. Okay. Let's put that one down here. I don't really think there's anything but embossing thread. Yeah. And very cool ribbon in here. What's this? <laughs> wow, that's a piece of bling. You could use that on the front of a box or something one day. 
All right. Okay. I don't want any of that. Put that away. All right. I don't want any seam binding. Oh, what about a zipper? Oh, a zipper. Zippers. Wow, that's a fancy zipper. Look at that. Dang. Oh, a heavy jacket. You guys are probably saying all these things and I'm, not, I'm missing it all. Hold on, I'm missing, I'm missing it all. I guess it doesn't matter what color the zipper is. Let's just bring out a zipper. I don't think I want any seam binding or anything like that. Brick rack might be neat for some texture in the background. Let's get that part out. bundled together. Wow, that is some crazy, wacky color rig rag. Look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> Look how crazy those colors are. Wow. Okay. Use some of that. Still kind of need some dimensional things. We're getting like flat things. Working on the thimble. All right, now I have a, let me put this back. I have not looked up at chat. I am so sorry. I will come back. I'm going to come back and look at chat. All right, let's put this back where it goes. Right there. And right there. Okay. Thimble, come on, Michelle. Thimble. You gotta have a thimble. Okay. Found a thimble. Found a thimble. Um, last night, I remember looking in this metal box. I had kilt pins, something like that. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, looking up. Oh, a circular knit. Is that what that thing is with the plastic? Jaden just turned 16, Lisha, on Father's Day. Hi, Lord Vasquez. How are you? He did. He's getting baptized on August 15th. <laughs> Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> He's growing up fast. Yes, he is. He sure is. He's growing up so fast. Um. And painted tiny spools. Not the tiny, tiny. I have like, I know what you're talking about. I used to have some of those. About trim and lace. Yep, I got some of that next to me, Donna. Okay, I think you should start playing. All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. I did see this piece last night. It was in here. Do you remember that piece of metal and it says thimble on it? No, if we can incorporate that or not. We'll set it off to the side. If we can't, I'll just go back in my box. And I don't think I have anything that looks like. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with it. Okay. Wow, see? The things. 
everybody you guys gotta have like the things around the house right like that the key to a sewing machine deadly tea pins go away oh my gosh those things are deadly oh and that cameo i like that cameo another key bottle of buttons we got a thimble some little scissors and stuff we can stick out of the scissors we got a dress form i believe this dress form is broke like right there but it's okay we can i was about to use these scissors uh to open it up this is pretty delicate all right some of those but we're going to bring it up and add some textures so we're going to do that probably using lace i think that's a good idea um get this off of here and i have a, a large applique I don't want to use that one. Um, you can cut these up. So you gotta have some kind of like, you know, flowery stuff coming out. Okay. The thing that I have noticed by watching all these videos, by the way, I put the hops up in my, um, group so you guys can watch um that's where the rabbit trail started uh the one thing i do know i most of them are process videos and they film on fast forward i'm sure this is taking them hours and hours to do and i may start filming instead of going live because I don't want you sitting here for hours and hours. Because I don't work fast, obviously. Um, those almost look like, kind of like wings. Wouldn't that be neat, having winged scissors? I'm not into that, though. I like the flower look. Alright, put this to the side. Looking up. Ooh, good idea. My twins are awesome. One went to the Marines. Bobbin. That will be right next to me. Yep. Uh, one went to the Marines and Alicia, the, um, the oldest, went to the Marines. Ooh, what about some drywall tape? That's some cool texture. He went to the Marines. They're 25 now. Um, the other one is bartending down in Tampa. Uh, both doing excellent. Very, very well. They both have um, uh, the oldest twin, the Marine, uh, getting married to his high school sweetheart. Let's see. I wanted to steal one. Um, getting married like to his high school sweetheart. We're excited about that. She's amazing. Love her. All right. Um, hello. Do you have a start? Do you have an end? Really? <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness. Start and end tape. Where do you start and end? Seriously? Dragging my nails across. Both ways. Oh, for Pete's sake. Just ripping it off. 
Well, it's kind of sticky. So I can't really do that. Find. All done. Don't go away and just do videos. Brave one, how are you? Ah, thank you, Nadine. I really appreciate that. You're so brave to come back. That's right, Car, the brave one. Okay. Hey, I found it. Excellent. I think it'll just give some texture. Again, not a pro. It shows. It definitely shows. I just want to add some texture to the background. Boy, that stuff does not rip, does it? No, it doesn't. I think I'm going to add some up on the clipboard just a bit. Melissa, we really have to catch up. Oh, I just, I just, I can't believe you're here. That's just, I'm so excited. Melissa was like one of the very first people when I came on. I had known her for, wow, going on five years. Uh, I'm, I'm just so thrilled you're here. Thank you. All right, not using those. All right, like that. Let's get, oh, 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 hold on. What if, it's, it's right here. Just like I find it. I'm in my stencils right now. I have a dress form stencil. Wonder how that would look with oh no. with the dress the chipboard dress on top. I don't know. You can try it though. Oh look, I have all things like sewing. Huh, isn't that fun? I've never ever used a stencil. Look, all the things sewing. Like that. Uh, that looks like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know what that looks like. Let's use some modeling paste or some texture paste. Do this thing. Everybody's like, finally. But I definitely noticed that it just, the, it takes time. That's why I was thinking about doing videos instead of lives, because it's probably driving you guys crazy. But I like giving you a place to hang out as well. I love the bottom of that stand. That's beautiful. I like that. Um, I, think I, I like giving you guys a, a place to, you know, hang out and talk to your friends, too. So you can ignore what I'm doing. Look, a pin cushion. Oh, that's cute, too. Okay, maybe the water's not good right there. Let's move it over here. So I can knock it off my desk. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. This stand is pretty. It's the stand. Interesting. And I like these stitch marks. Okay, texture paste. So I have um, this Platinum Crackle. Uh, it dries uh, very, very shiny. But it doesn't really matter. And the Crackle, for to get the good, good Crackle, is leave it overnight. I can dry it, though. And it will still crackle. So I think that's what I'm going to use. Um because I can tone down the color with um, 
the paints and everything that I'm going to use. Stay. I don't want to break this anymore, so let me just move her out of the way. You just move out of the way. You I'm not using right now. And you I'm not using right now. Okay, let's get a palette knife. Shall we? Let's. I really like that stand. I'm going for it. I just want the stand. The stand is really pretty. I will tell you that um, when I'm doing this stenciling, oh, don't you dare. There. Ooh, I like that. Gives it a little bit of texture, too. Uh, this stuff just rinses right off. So I just leave my um, stencils, I don't know, roaming, loose. I don't know what you want to call it. I, I like this pattern along the side. Let's do it this way. I like that right there. But I think I'm going to switch and not use the crackle on that and use the modeling paste. Then we're going to dry it. Then we're going to gesso it. Uh, this. And this. No reason why I can't just squirt it onto my palette knife, right? I think they're supposed to look like sewing marks. Trying to go a little bit thicker on them. Again, not a tutorial. Oh, I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay. I like those. Oh, those are cool. Yep, I like that. And then, let's see, that's the wrong corner. All right, I think I'm done with that. Yeah, I think I'm done with that. I like that. That looks neat. Oh, here. See that? And see how that's really shiny? And over if this was to dry overnight, boy, that thing it crackles. And I'm just gonna use this just to add texture and get it off my palette knife. And throw that in my water. Alright, I'm gonna dry this really fast. If you have earbuds in, fair warning, take them out. It might be loud, it might not. I'm so happy you are here. Seriously. Oh, I don't edit for sure. Uh, Sarah, I believe I got it off AliExpress. Back in the day. Don't know if they still have it. But I believe that stencil came from there. Bye, Angie. I'm sorry I missed you. Yeah, if I had um, a bigger piece that I was working on, I would have used that whole stencil of the mannequin. It's really pretty. I 
Okay, I think I'm caught up. Because I'm looking up while I'm drying. And you can see that it is, it's crackling for sure. Oh, it's even crackling up there. Remember, don't touch the metal after. Learned that with a hot spoon last night. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. I didn't wash down this um, board before I did it in the natural, like, gr uh, grit and grime is coming up through that. I like it. I think we're good. All right. That wasn't too loud. Was it too loud? Did it go too loud? Ooh, since we couldn't put that down there, let's use the brick rack on that side. Where do you start? Oh, there it is. I keep wanting to grab these scissors. They don't work, I'm sure. This is nasty, too. Oh, I like it. Okay, definitely using my brush to put this on because it's I can't I can't even tell you this stuff is just driving my hands crazy. White glue on it to begin with. All right. Big as my head. I found this too. Thought one day I would do something with that. All right. The rig rack. We used it. All right. We're just putting down some of this stuff. Remember when I first started using this? Game changer. Total game changer. Works on metal. This works on anything. Dries clear. Can't ask for more. Absolutely love it. Mind frame? Sure. Look, it's already sticking down. Let me pull you up just a tad. Okay. That's down. Grab. That. The um, stand kind of blended into the background. I don't know if you can still. There it is. Ooh, yeah, you can see it. See all that platinum? Um, if I would, I, I didn't look at the label very well when I was ordering it. I don't think I would get the platinum again. Um, but, yeah, you can see it now. It's on there. And there's some up on... The top of the clipboard as well. You can see where there's some spots. I don't mind it. Obviously, I'm going to keep using it. Okay. All right. Let's just start putting things down. All my scissors. All my scissors kind of off. And they're going to get gessoed. And I was thinking like the buttons somewhere around here. But I'm not ready for those because those are like, the elements. Like I said, I need more to, to raise it. I don't know. I mean, it can be flat. I don't care. It's just going to hang on a wall, right? 
Oops. Um, I know Michelle and Mary have their source sale. I am getting those brushes. Yes. The texture brushes. Absolutely. Getting them. He's got a kind of a neat little head on him. <laughs> now I have to do something different with this. I can find a um, saying or a word to put there. I don't think I mind that too much hanging out from underneath there. Make it straight. Yep. It kind of looked like they were just tossed on there. Okay, obviously I need some more of this stuff. And I'll come back with um, some sea beads and things. Stick. Come on. Please. Okay, deadly tea pins. Deadly. You guys ever been stuck by one of these things? Oh, they show no mercy. No mercy. They just flat out no mercy on the tea pen. It's like gonna get ya and it gets ya. <laughs> things hurt. I said I wanted to sell them before and as soon as I did them I was like uh, yep nope couldn't even sort them in the bags 
I was bleeding like, mm, no, not doing it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm looking at, I am so sorry. Well, hey Kim. How are ya? Hey, Bevy. I am. I'm sorry. Normally, I'm open scissors a bit. Ah, yeah. Good idea, Tina. Will do. Good idea. <gasps> Wouldn't it be fun? Oh, Tina, just give me an idea with that. If um, we open the scissors a little bit, just like you said, we'll open them and have vintage uh, muslin over here. Like it's cutting, it's cutting a piece. On them. Or I can use sorry silk, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think that that would be neat. I will put some thread on here as well. Like some embossing thread. Just want to get the elements down. Like this, maybe. She said, open them. So what if we kind of came in like this? And then I could push it up a little bit like that. It would be one of the last things I would have, have to um, add so I could keep that. Ooh, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, let me rub this with modeling paste really fast and see if I can get it to dry kind of crooked on this side. Hold on. I'm just adding, the, again, not a tutorial. I don't even know if this is going to work. Let's just see if it does. I'm going to get to dry. Let's kind of crinkle it up a little bit like that. If it gets off my, this stuff is so sticky. Okay, just get off my hand. All right, let's leave that off to the side. Let go. There. All right, cool. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. It says it's, it leaves things flexible, so mm -hmm. we'll see. Okay. And again, I think I'm going to go with, see, it just gets stuck on my fingers. I'm going to go with white again. Um, I will do, I will try. I do have black gesso. I will try a black gesso project. I think I'll do it in the tin um, where I cut that uh, flapper dress up and use it on that. That's for another day, though. I'm kind of busy this weekend, you know, so this is about it for this week. Kind of busy this weekend. All right, I wanted to wrap some twine around here. Um, I would add a stick, but it doesn't make any sense. I 
Doesn't make any sense there to stick to this for sure. I like the three bigger elements right there. I think I'm going to like that. You add some twine around this. We're sorry, so it doesn't matter. And I'm not going to put it on yet because uh, it's one thing I don't want to just so because I want you to see the beads. I will, however, wax the lid because it is metal. Last night I didn't use any waxes. And I probably use magicals again as well. There, I just tied that with some old sorry silk. That looks cute. Um, I'll use that. Um, that is sewing related. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. If you have an idea of what I want to do with this. I will step on this staple, so I better get it out of there. Okay. So that's not very straight. There we go. We'll save that. I like the idea of this coming up my clipboard. I really like the, what is that? Mm -mm, I don't like that. I'd rather have it straight. I don't know what that was. I like the idea of that coming up the clipboard. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I can't put the thimble or something right there. That doesn't even look right. Ooh, not for children. <laughs> Sticking in the nope, not for children. All right, hold on. If it's sitting up, it's going to be hanging on a wall. Oh, no. Just checking. I don't know if I'm going to like that thimble on there. We'll see. I don't know. Ooh, I do know what I do want. 
to the best. I think I want some where the bottle's gonna be. Sorry, looking up. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Thanks, Kim. It's my first time. Well, last night was my first time. I made something last night. Um, I'm very, very new, very, very, very new to this mixed media because you know the MM. M and C. I am not good at mixed media, mini, and collage. No. Not good at. But I'm trying. And it's very, very fun. I don't know why, but I like that arrow. Not really usually kind of arrow thing person it looks good so I'll lay those scissors there for kind of a point of reference for now like the um, key build up this corner a little bit more. Again, not a tutorial. Me just playing. Alright, let's put the cameo girl there. I like her. And I like this key. It unlocks the sewing machine. Like that. Alright, we need to add some buttons up there. Normally, I would fret about having uh, thread in my buttons, but I don't think so much now. Gonna kind of add them randomly. Wow, as it does, boy, if you missed the holes on that one, <laughs> you need to get your eyes checked. Wow, that would be that would be bad. That would definitely be bad. 
pit like dark. I got an issue. I definitely like it coming through the holes. Okay. Again, it's getting on my fingers and it's going to be stuck there and I don't know how to get it off. in the middle of these little circles. Ooh, caught it. Come on, girl. Because my fingers have got this stuff on it. Get off. Uh, just so you know, that um, fabric right there, it's, it's staying that way. Good idea, Tina. Open the scissors. Open the scissors. Good idea. Like that. Like that a lot. It's a great time to use your plain buttons because... You know, they're going to get, uh, painted. It's a great time to use clear buttons. So we kind of push those to the side. I still have that dress form thingy in the middle. I think it's going to look neat. It's all going to come together at the end. That's why I learned last night. Like, uh, looks kind of crazy whack right now. But it all came together last night. And I don't know have to watch yesterday because you'll definitely see my reaction. Here. It's very tedious, but it's it's quite um satisfying. Very calming. Just put one there for the heck of it. I don't think it really wants to stay there for the heck of it. Come on. Thank you. Oh, Try to rub it off my fingers as I go. It's my fingers. This I don't really think is needed. Um, looking up, sorry. Uh, yeah, Nalisha, I sure do. Hi, Angie Stone, how are you? Okay, Cindy, you made it back. This is all the further we've made it. Oh, let me go up a little bit. There you go. Bevy, and she's a she's a beautiful woman. Melissa is delicious. So far, yeah, right. Cindy's looking all right. Okay, so I just wanted to get a reference point for that. Um, do you even? We probably do. Day. I'm sure it's 
or put a button or something down to keep that down there. Hello. That is Pia. She is on because Jaden is not here. Hold that. There you go. Shove it in the button jar. You get, oh, can you see that? The dress form under there? We're still good with that? In real life, it looks pretty neat. Okay. So let's get that put down. So I don't forget where this goes. It's very, very delicate. That's for sure. Very, very delicate. I don't want to break it at all. Venturing into the cheesecloth as well. There's the part that's broke, which would be her post down here. Oh, great. The lawn people are here. Fantastic. Sorry. But the grass needs mowed. A lot of rain lately. She's down. All right, let's build around her for a minute. Different buttons. And that's got a cool swirl to it. Oh, I should check my phone, right, Jamie? Jamie, I know I am not even looking at chat, and you're like, you better check your phone because it could be Jaden, right? Okay, hold on. Nope, not him. Same person as last night. She's going through it. I think I need more right now on here. Ooh, that's a different one. Kind of looks like a guitar pick. I'll be satisfied in a minute. I feel it. It's coming. Okay. All right.
I need a button under the side because it's fall it's uh not even. I like that they're kind of propped up at the top. Oh my gosh, can you slam your door a little bit more? Okay. I'm just gonna put one right here underneath it. So I don't have to bring out any pop dots or anything like that. All right, I'm going to lay these down now. This has totally molded itself. See it? So that actually did work. Um, good job, Tina. I like that. I'm going to just make it a little bit shorter. Put it right here. Puppy. Woo, that's coming through there. Oh, here I go, wipe out my hand. Okay, stop. Stop. Have to stop. Maybe. Any predictions on how this is going to turn out? <laughs> Yay or nay? Put that behind there. Can't really see it. I don't like that thing hanging out. Go down off of it a little bit because it's an applique. So it is sewing related. It's I don't mind it. Okay. Now we're going to dry. Oh, nope. We got to get our scissors put down. And then we're going to dry. And then we're going to paint it all white. Yee. Ha! Ah, yet another process. Like this stuff? Nope, not instant gratification for sure. But when it's done, that's when it comes in. All right, I like where that fabric is folded. Do you guys like the fabric? Does the fabric look okay right there, or should I just forget the fabric? Is it? It makes it look like it's cutting something, and the fabric would have to be added last. Oh, geez, I almost dropped it. Do you like the fabric there? Or should I just take it out and just leave it plain? Because my, I wanted like a word to go right down here, like be creative, something to do with create. What do you think? Hey, Minda. Love your face. I actually really like it. Not painted. It's it's kind of messy though. It can't uh, can't stay like this. Um, I'm going to uh, 
the last thing that I'll do while I'm gessoing is I'm going to pick up some beads and things like that. So did you like the fabric or no? Minda, did you see here who is here? Delicious, delicious. I can't believe it. I am just uh, made my day. This I uh, I haven't seen in so so long. All right, so let's get these puppies down. All right, you guys. So far, love the fabric. Like the fabric. Okay, what's well, one of the um last things that I will actually put on we're gonna have to really put these puppies down and these this part is leaning down on so that's really gonna have to stick um, up here is touching the buttons right here Whoops. All right. Wow. Okay. Got that. Just so six down a little bit more. Not touching it. Okay. This so wow, that's so dry fast. All right, I'm going to slap a little texture paste on it and then we're gonna dry it. Texture paste is just like um Oh, it's got sand in it, pretty much. And I want to put some on the scissors. Just adds like some grit, especially around the top of this and around here. Again, that's torn. Just want to add some texture to scissors. Grit around the paper. I noticed it firsthand last night. This stuff really makes a difference. get out <laughs> to make sure though that when you close it it likes to dry and that doesn't like to snap back so we're gonna make sure it snaps back On our zipper, just get a little on our dress form over here, up the 
the side. Boy, those are some nasty, grungy scissors. Okay, everything's on. It's not coming off. Wow, that is just, wow. All right. All right, I like it. Okay, let's try it. Some things that I didn't need. Let's push it off to the side. Where's that lid to? Oh, button. I'm not going to need that for a minute. Shut the big head over here. I want to put some more string on. Or I want to put string on. I put... I forgot that. Don't like those words. Don't want me to train a, um, Maybe one of the last things that I do. Okay. Get these out of the way. After I shut the jar. Oh. All right. It dried. This out of the way. And this was just some other ideas that we had, or I had. Didn't end up using them. All good. Some extra one of those. Here's my thing. Actually, gonna dry that a little bit more. Just squinch it up a little bit. And try it like that. That can stay all the way. Alright, throw that over there. Sorry if my desk is just not presentable. Okay, there we go. Alright, looking up. Okay. Okay, Lori. Darn it. Okay. Get a long piece of fabric. Uh, do I hang on? Yep, Delicious. Delicious is a singing crafter. I love her singing. Well, we miss you. I am so glad you're back. Okay, going through the chat really fast. Oh, I can do this while I'm drying. You have a TikTok, Tammy? Really? Yeah, I got jar buttons, Jamie. Right here. Won't go on till last, though. Because it's glass. Um... I want the buttons to shine through, or shine through, to come through. All right, Cindy, be careful out there. Oh, 
Oh, I got an idea, Lori. Since I didn't cut the fabric long enough to hang off, what if I use some of this thread and, like, do it off? Maybe. You guys are aware this is going to take me a while to gesso, right? Grab some coffee, grab some tea. Do you think? I have a coffee right here. Alicia, I hope so. Really, Tammy? Awesome. that cool down for a minute. I'll chat with you for a while. For a few minutes. Oh yeah. Yep, those are hot. They're hot. Him and his wife do me. Jaden is on that TikTok and he brings me things and he's like, this is so funny. And I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Oh, I just can't believe you're here. That's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta give that a second. I think I'm gonna put Big Head away and just use the um, soft gloss gel for the back. Put Big Head back. This can go back where it was. Getting ready to use that like crazy. That's not going to be used. It can go back in metals. So for, yeah, last night, uh, for those of you who didn't see what I made, I made this. Jane's at home, so I didn't get a chance to... I think there's a picture up on the video, but it's with my camera. It's not a very good camera. But the Florida de lis is in there. It's an altered tin. There's lace. There's just, there's tons of things. And in real life, you can really see them really close. This was so fun. It makes me so happy. Um, it's the colors that I love, which is vintage, rust, and then the pink with the magicals. It just, it just makes me happy makes me happy to look at it i really like it i think it turned out well don't it's just in a case because of the rust it doesn't go in this thing although it would look cute in there huh if you made that yeah that would be cute but no it's just sitting in there because it's 
getting its rust dust all over the place. So this is what I tried last night. It's a, it was, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, while we're waiting for that to cool down, where is uh, this right here? Okay. Let's find a quote. Huh. Take risks. That's what I'm doing right now. Does anyone have a favorite in here? This is called small talk. I've only used a couple, so. Nine times out of ten, I probably have it in here still. So something's going to pop out at me. <laughs> it says a party without cake is just a meeting. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's funny. Something small right there. And I'll probably, the, there's the same, I don't know, small chat, whatever this is called. Oh, it's, oh, there's one that says remember to play. That's what we're doing. Oh, I like that one right there. Creativity takes courage. Okay, where's that in black? Right there. Creativity takes courage. I like that. Because, oh wow, it's in here a couple of times. Oh, I really like that saying. Shine like the whole universe is yours. Nope, too long. Creativity takes courage. What do you guys think of that? Creativity takes courage. Hey, Penny. 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 I like that. Seriously, Lori B. Did you. Were, did you say that before or after I said that? Yeah, that's the one that I went right to. Creativity takes courage. Nah, -uh. you better get off my brain, way woman. Seriously? Wow. Okay. She said it before. I thought you read it. <gasps> I didn't read it. Nalisha. I think it's Nalisha. I know I pronounce it wrong. I just call, I always call her Nalisha. It's delicious. Those two words just go together for me. Nalisha is delicious. It is a beautiful name. She's a beautiful person inside and out, too. Let me tell you. I know we are sinking up in here. Lori B., come on, girl. We are almost to your retirement. Almost there. I'm definitely going to use the creativity takes courage. That's uh yeah kind of words i kind of need to hear right now with this all right so let's gesso it's gonna take a hot minute if you got something you want to do uh go for it because <laughs> it's gonna take a minute for me to paint this for sure Oh, I love my bucket of water right here. 
There you go, Donna. All right, gesso brush, paper towel, wiping it off. Here we go. She said, y'all stop. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Said it like ten times. Here we go. The cheesecloth. I'm gonna tell you, not the easiest thing to paint. Will the pattern still come through on the back? I'm gonna leave some places. Uh, blank. Not as colored. Ooh, I will tell you what though. That doily thing looks really neat. Kind of looks like a wagon wheel. Where this texture paces. Oh. go move over there ooh I like the painters uh that plaster tape yeah that's good stuff that's really good stuff Oh, the texture paste on the jaw. Oh, yeah, that's neat. The zipper. The teeth on the zipper. That looks neat. Buy deadly tea pins. Oh my gosh, those things are deadly. Cover you up. I mean, everything is staying in place. Like the texture paste, all that is all staying in place. So there's the cheesecloth. How long have I been on? That's why some of these are probably should be filmed. That's a long time for you guys to sit. Sorry. I think um, it will help. The next time I do this, I come with specifically an idea and I'm not running all around my room trying to find things and do all that. So if I'm a little more prepared, maybe they won't take as long. You know what I'm saying? There's just some neat stuff back in the clipboard. In the back of it. Okay. 
where is Really? I know I would put them somewhere where they wouldn't spill. Yep, there they are, right behind my computer. I'm gonna add some beads in. We'll stay on with the the gesso. These are just a different, like, little rice beads, and just, I don't know, small beads, small beads. I have some micro beads. I don't really think this calls for micro beads. Don't know, could, I don't know, add tutorial. Just putting things, things that make me happy. I'm sticking in the gesso already. I will paint back over that. down towards the bottom so I can get the smaller ones. Now I got to go through my beads. It actually kind of looks like string going through there, the way that they're lining up. Interesting. Oh, no point in putting them right there because that's where that fabric goes. Run along, little bead, run along. Somewhere else. Let's go right there with you. The really small ones are down here. <laughs> I like those. Really tiny. Yes, they move around, but don't worry, they will stay, and it's okay if they move around. It's just like another texture that they're giving. See, they're all in my brush. But they all went back to the spot. Why are you film? 
or in film am I in film in frame Stay right down there by her dress. over there I think the other one that the other things are called art beads um the technical ones that you know Finnebear uses um I don't I don't uh, I don't see any problem with using these if you you know wanted to Save, save money. But who doesn't want to do that? I like those right there. All these products are just amazing to me. I was thinking last night, I think a lot, like when I go to bed, um, down there, little guy, uh, how I can incorporate this in my journal making, and all I can tell you guys is Debbie Kip, Kip's Corner, she does a lot of mixed media with her, her journal making, uh, She's fantastic. Um, she was in here last night uh, watching, <laughs> actually helping her, Amanda, Jamie, everybody, helping me out last night. Paula was in here, everything. Um, helping me with it. Uh, she incorporates a lot of it with her in her journal making, uh, on her tags, on her covers. She's a great channel to go and watch. Um, she's a lot, some process videos on, on the journals that she's doing. Goodbye, lovely scissors. Um, so yeah, I was just thinking on how blending the two. I'm sorry, let me look up. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Oh, Alicia. We post in, in a group. What? What? It's super cool. The little thicker kind of crazy. What? What? What are you talking about? I've been sat this conversation. What is going on? What are you posting, Jamie? Jamie, can you post, uh, if you don't mind grabbing uh, Lori B's channel? She is getting ready to retire July the 2nd. And um, I know I've asked and commented, please, tutorials. Um, 
on her beautiful journal making and I'm so excited for her journey for sure I think you're gonna be I can't wait to learn from her she's 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 post a lot in the group some are oh, her journals are just they're stunning um so I'm super excited for her. been helping her kind of count down. I'm sure everybody is. I'm waiting. July the second. Boy, there better be a video July the third, girl. <laughs> okay, maybe you could take a week off after you retire. I guess. I guess. But after that, get to work. I want to see it. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for you, Lori. It is so much fun. So much fun. I am definitely lucky that this is my job. Okay. These are a little unruly. Get back in there, please. You get back in there, please. Thank you. Those ones didn't want to cooperate. Thank you, Jamie. If you guys haven't subscribed to Lori yet, please do. I'm so looking forward to it. Very much so. Very much so. Told you this is the longest part. For me anyways. Doesn't have to be perfection because it's going to be sprayed and painted and everything like that. So it doesn't have to be perfection. I kind of want to move this cheesecloth up against here. So we're going to have that paper there. Boy, this just so just put your stuff anywhere. And I want this done. So my little phrase is going to go. Doily. I wonder if I'm going to be able to slip that tape. fabric under there. Hold on. It's down. Seriously. Mm hmm. It's down. Let's figure out something else. It's already down. Crud. Now let the edges here stay a little bit of this brown where that um, pattern paper was that we first used. Shoot. Now that fabric won't fit under there because I already put it all down. You know, Michelle. Awesome sauce. All right, little bead. Stay there. You stay there. Stay. You get over there with your friends. Get over there with your friends. Thank you. Oh, nope. You're not supposed to be down here. You. Back up with your friend. 
All right, I think we're good. I can't, oh, crap. Okay, there's texture like crazy on here. I see, I see tape. I see texture paste. Everything. This corner up here feels like it's missing something. Oh, maybe we'll figure it out as further I go. Or maybe when I put that thing there, it'll balance it out a little bit better. All right, look it over. I like that sticking out. Pounce out the bigger parts. Any big globs or anything? Oops, this will be around the dress form. Again. like those there I like the way that cheesecloth is really neat with this oh I see a whole place I forgot right here cheesecloth is really neat with this um forms like almost a webbing like you see it uh down around like right here oh where are we at oh well, you can't see everything is blended in it's white now like right there it's going to catch color, and that's going to be neat. All right. Good. Got some right there. Again, a great way to use my clear buttons, because uh, those just sit in my container, because they are clear. No kind of color. All right. You guys all get back over here, because... Last jar is going over there, so please stay right in here, right in there, around that button. Let's put a few of you over here. Okay, I think that's it. Zipper. Okay. All right. Stop. Okay. Back away, back away, back away, back away. Again, I wish this had a way to put it back in the jug. I really do. Can it? Can I do it like this with the bamboo stick? Yep, that works. Will it take a while? Sure will. Seriously, that's the only thing that I don't like about this. The next ones I get will be the tub. Um, this is working. It's a little tedious. But it works right in the hole there. Thank you. Get back in there.
Okay. All right, let me wipe this off. It's a little messy. And push that up. I can check it out. And let's get some colors going. Um, I think uh, last night I used the ochre and the burnt sienna, which is really, really pretty. I think today... Destroy that all up. Get it out of the way. I think today I just want to use my magicals. Um, I know clam bake is a really great color to use. Um, so I think I just want to use my magicals. I have to go ahead and dry this first. And I have some metallic uh, magicals. Actually, to be precise, I have the glitzy. And I have the Nantucket. The Nantucket has one of my favorite colors, which is the clam bake. I love that color. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I want to focus, though, I think on the more uh, glitzy. Um, oh, my goodness. Glitzy ones because. And my waxes be, because of. Uh, the scissors are what pops out the most. Um, they're the highest up on the, uh, what, what is this again, tablet. Um, so I'm going to get my waxes. I want to do that. I'll bring it up one more time. And don't forget that this will go right here. But first, I have to dry it. So, that's it. Yeah, only took three hours. That's why these might be filmed in parts, for sure. Hey, Melissa. How you doing? Buttercup, I said hello to you earlier, yes? Yep, wax is last. Got it. Okay, Bob. Not the time right now, Bob. Stencil something up in that corner. Ooh, good job. Stop. Good job, good job, good job. All right. You are exactly right. Let me grab something right here. Good idea. Where's the modeling paste? Right here. Let's get that out. Thank you. And we'll just go with this because it's right next to me. That's pretty. It's a pretty little design. Oh, it's definitely still wet, for sure. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's stones up here. Not stones, but you know beads. Oh, jeez. Can I have ten more hands? Hold on. I'm gonna... Got some of it on there. Yeah, it looks like a big mess. Okay. Dang it. Should have thought of that earlier. Sorry. Never mind. Continue drying. We'll figure out something. All right. Lori, you're going to be awesome. I just know it. 
It's I'm so excited for your journey. I'm just I told you I'm red X in my calendar until I'd you call them. Thanks, Melissa. Glory be, you're welcome anytime. I'll be your wing girl. Oh, I know what we could put in that corner, Lori. Or Tina. Love some of this measuring tape. Maybe. We'll see. All right, wax last. Got it. We know that for sure. All right, let me move all this stuff. That I don't need anymore. Move it back. Move the back. See? That's why we're moving it all back. Moving it all back. We're moving the magicals forward. Bringing that back. Might use that. Put that in there. I can't believe. Oh, that makes me upset that I can't get that. Darn fabric in there now. Darn it. Oh, wow. It was a neat idea. If you guys do it, make sure you put it on before you do that. This is super hot. I can, I putting my hand over it is just like, whoa. So, I know this is crazy to do for a live. Let's uh, get up, stretch our legs for a minute. I know I have to go to the bathroom. Um, and, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's warm. Uh, stretch our legs for a minute and be right back. Give me a few minutes, please. Um, again, if you have any... Uh, thing going on pop it in the chat i don't care i don't mind yeah break time oh i might have a banner that says that hold on <laughs> there you go okay i'm gonna mute just don't hit leave studio all right hit
Okay. You know what I didn't even think of? Do you guys remember those water soluble crayons? I bet you could use those. I could use those too. All types of things. Didn't even think about. Okay. What a miss. What a miss. Thank you, Nalisha. She's going to do right, right, Jamie? She's going to do great. I can't wait. Seriously, Lori. Can't wait. Okay, let's get some magicals out. We used our fluffy brush last night to sprinkle them on. Um, all right, just let me think here for a second. Okay, I'm trying to think of a color scheme. I think around the edge. Not a gold girl. It's not. So snazzy sparkle. Hmm, that just must be sparkly. Okay, I am going to go around the outside of it with, uh, it's called Showstopper Copper. Hmm, who comes up with these names? They are amazing. Show stopper copper. And I just tied my brush last night. You don't need a lot of these this at all. At all. Because when you hit it with the water, it's going to go crazy. I'm just tapping it down. I think I kind of want it around my clipboard a little. These things are magic. I'm telling you, they're magic. Seriously. Remember the first day I played with these? Oh my goodness. I need more. I have the whole collection now. Just the way that I get. Okay. Because I want that to kind of run down my sides a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit more on just the corners. I don't know if that bead's going to make it. The rest of them feel pretty sturdy, but that bead doesn't. A lid on that. And if I have any more, I was gonna tap it on my brush. Get off. Okay. Has a string or a string? Yeah, a string. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put my. napkin back here and I kind of hold it up on an angle <laughs> these things are just magic seriously I miss some back here If you don't like what they're doing, this is the neat thing, is that you can go ahead and take them and place the color wherever you want. So if I want to color this, and I want to color this color, 
not color, paint, and get it to stay in certain spots, you can manipulate it. They remind me, like the way that it dried last night, reminds me of um, embossing because of a certain way that it dries. There's a bunch right there, There's some down in these beads. Like you can manipulate it. I like it. I want more on this texture around the clipboard. But I'll touch more with that with the waxes and stuff. This is just to add some background color. Hold on, let me hold it straight up for a second. It's going to be hanging up. If you don't like it, uh, after you dry it, just gesso it back over. If it's too dark, you like that part of it. Well, that stencil did show up a little bit. Okay, I need some more down here at the bottom. Whoa. Calm down there, Sparky. If you watch uh, Penny Pudge, she um, painted with these the other day because you can use a palette and put them in there and get them wet and just use them as like a sort of, I guess, watercolor. Um, and she did that the other day on her live. She colored in butterflies. Okay, to remember which my dry brush, which my wet brush. That cheesecloth is amazing. Oh, okay, dry brush. Get the water away from the magicals. Shut that up. That cheesecloth, this looks really cool. All right. I'm using a really, really soft brush. Can you see the effect on that cheesecloth that it has? It looks neat. It looks neat on the lace, too, especially the sheer. The part up top is already drying. It looks, it looks cool. The waxes are going to look really good with this.
Okay. Going to my other not so glitzy. These are the Nantuckets. And I want some of that clam bake. Uh, that clam bake to me is a really pretty color. Like, it looks plain in here. But once I put it down and spray it, just you wait. I want that up in here. I'm not scared to use this color because this is one of my favorites. some water with it. Whoops. Close the magical. Hey Laura, how are you? That color. That's the color. I like that color a lot. Going over this way with it. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I like that it colored the button. I'm going to color up this a little bit. More. Love the clam bake. Mix it up in the copper. Kind of blend a little bit better. They're just magic. Oh, they're so magic. Yep, that one's like a stay on there. Get off then. Go. All right, I'm going to dry that. Hello. Right with my thing. Sunday.
What's the difference between magical and mica powder? Hmm. Got me there, Melanie. Are those real scissors? Yes, they are. Really old scissors, for sure. Should take a picture of before and after, huh? Oh, well. Just watch the video. Forgot. Um. All right. So, because wax is our last. I'm not, I don't think I'm really into that snazzy sparkle. Let's not do that. I already did that. I definitely want to put some pink in here and some silver. And I think that I'll be done. And then I'm going to touch it with waxes. I think I'm done with these. Um... Yeah. Everything I want to highlight, I think I want to do with the waxes. I didn't use those too much last night. Um, I got to put some pink in here. You know I have to. It's just me. I have to. I have to do it. I think I just want to do it around my scissors. Mostly. I know. Pink scissors? What? Michelle's world, that happens. But I'll go over them with the axes. Don't you worry. Let's get some pink out into here. Pink over in here. Kind of going heavy on the pink because I like the pink. Just to balance some. And wherever you may fall. Okay. Oh my word. Come on, Pink. You're gorgeous. That pink is so pretty. Love pink. Favorite color. Hashtag pink everything. I will make it a thing. Love that on the rick rack. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah. Like it. It reactivated things up here, too. Awesome. All right.
I'm really hoping they're for, oh yeah, I am in for it. Oh, you want to be on there? Get off. That's really pretty. Okay, I know I said I was going to stop with the magicals, but you know what? Oh, I'm going to do this one. All right, let me stop. I got to dry it really fast. And in the center, I'm going to put some of the silver waxes and then. The, the, the pink. First of all, look at this cool thing that's going on up here. I don't even know what's going on up here. Do you see my um, clipboard, the metal? It's actually patinaing itself because I have not used blue. And that's just grunge. <laughs> I'm wrong with a little grunge. Like it. Okay, you talk about mica powder. Good. Thank you for answering that question because Melody, I really did not know, hon. I don't know. Um Uh, Laura Kai, do you really want to see my hands from last night from Liquid Acrylic? That's it right there. It's not coming off. Um, Tina O said bleach water. So, mother I can't get the gesso off my hands. Does anyone have, like, a quick thing? It's not coming off my hands. I Today, I used a paintbrush for my applicator instead of using my finger like I did last night. And I cannot get this off. I don't care the gesso. I It's the matte gel. That stuff. The glue stuff. And when I'm peeling it, my skin is really red underneath it. Um, I don't think I'm having a reaction. It's just like my skin would like, you know, it would like to breathe, please. So, anybody got tips for getting gesso? Or not gesso. Uh the um matte medium off your hand and if you remember we uh used the crackle paste the platinum crackle which is no longer platinum anymore because um i gessoed over it this is just putting a little sparkle back in the inside we're going to do these. Oh, there's a train. Man, trains never go down across those tracks, I thought. Um, put some sparkle back in here. Put some down the side. And I'm kind of putting on the, I, well, I am putting on the silver. Uh, a little thicker. Definitely. Hear it? It's a train. I didn't really think trains would cross those tracks right there. Alright. Let's spray and watch the magic. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like the silver. What color do I not like? How about that? Oh, that looks pretty down in those beads. Or in, down in here. Yep, like that. So spread out just a tad. Looks great up the side here. How much I got to do there? That cheesecloth, this makes a world of difference. Wow. I like it, the cheesecloth. All right. This really is a Neela. I put it on pretty thick. So I'm, I just like the way it looks, period. There's that in the middle. It's silver. You can see it all. Okay, I like it so far. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to lightly dress over it, and then I'm going to wax it. I need a big brush. <laughs> yeah, big brush, almost like um, uh, whitewash, whitewashing. Oh, you know what? If you go seriously, I am popular today. Popular. Somebody wants to talk to me. Oh my goodness! Fine, if you guys want to stay on there, don't stay on there. Should have put them on with them. Um, that medium, but that's okay. Anyone else? Okay. Jeez. Okay. There we go. Let's wax. Um, I'm not gonna use like the darker. I know I'm gonna use my metallics, metallics, whatever, like peacock. Mm, nope, too dark. I'm gonna use some brushed iron. Um, rich copper. I use some of that. Nope. Tina green. Nope. Maybe, maybe rich pepper. I don't want to use any of these. I'm definitely using mint sparkle. Whoa. That is amazing. Um, Firebird. Too bright. White gold they want to use. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I might. 
that was turquoise. Um, bronze age, that's a maybe. Green brocade, nope. Not using the shabby pink because it is not shabby pink. That is purple. All right, let's wax. Um. Uh huh. Sure. No problem. Really? Just give me a piece of paper. All this paper I'm surrounded by. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what it Oh, because it didn't it wasn't ah, uh, this is a handkerchiefs. That's right, chiefs. I said it. These I've had them forever. I really wanted to put one in between there, but it's not going to work. not going to work. not going to work. What is this? What is this? Oh, I can use this. Getting paper packs ready for tomorrow. And this is the GUN section. I decided I'm not selling those parts. So... Here we go. And this is the brushed iron. Okay. Which would be closer to what we used on the inside. I do know those get mixed in the palm of your hand. I could bathe in this. Bathe in this. I'm going to focus around the metals with this. That is so weird. That color just popped up. The edge. I don't necessarily want that to be that color, but I will add some to it. This is like... um. This is, what did I say? Brushed iron. So it's more of like a silvery, I don't know, looks like iron. It's definitely where all your details come out. For sure. Mind frame, yes. And deep down the dress, about that big. And that side. The mint sparkle is the one because I know it's weird because I'm not using like color color. Um, but the mint sparkle, it is green. Uh, but when I do it on camera, it shows up as it's gold. Um, it's not really gold. It's green in real life when you see it. Uh, this bronze age. I want to try some of this and I'm going to go around my 
edging with it. It's a really pretty color. I just want to go around the edge and hit all that texture paste. Maybe get the back of that. Almost like um, inking, inking the edge just to make it pop a little bit more. Again, this is not a tutorial. Wow. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Still have to add the buttons. I know Jamie has said that in the chat, I bet. Oh, geez. I'm not even at the bottom of the chat. Where's my mouth? reading Tammy's mica powder. Oh wow, yeah, wait a second. Yeah, I'm in the grain. Loving it. Hey Amanda, how you doing? I'm at it again. I can't I can't stop. Can't stop. Although you'd be proud of all the layers, let me tell ya. Would definitely be proud of all the layers. All right. They would use mint sparkle on that lid. Just gonna highlight that a little bit. Want to use mostly. of them like inking using this is like inking as if I were inking something just to make them highlight a little bit oh I go out of breath sorry I think the cheesecloth has been the most rewarding part. Seriously. That it, it's so it looks like a web. It's it's probably one of is definitely gonna be it was already one of my favorite things to use anyways under buttons and clusters and stuff, but oh, wow. Under this stuff, yeah. Okay. Go around that. Touched it with the brush to iron. I'm just going around the edges. Uh, again, when Jaden comes home with his better camera, I will take pictures of both of these things for you that I did last night and today. Do you remember that right there? That was the um, needle threader. There's a human on it. It's a gentleman. I'll just bring him right out. Barely touching. Look, can you see his face? That's a face. There's a face. That corner now, Tina, it doesn't look that bad. I'm not I'm not minding it at all. Like around the crack just a tad. Maybe around this. Just the bottoms, just to grungy it up a little bit little uh, really get off too then if you don't want to be on there 
Okay. It's that color. Amanda, um, do you have a trick, please, um, for getting matte medium off my hands? It's It won't come off. I've rubbed my hands on the concrete. I've used a brush. Um, it's driving me crazy. It's it's still, I don't, the gesso will come off. But this stuff, it's like peeling. And when I peel it off, my skin's really red underneath it. I don't think I'm having an allergic reaction. I think my skin just wants to breathe again. Um, do you have a trick? Somebody told me nail polish remover, which I, I will try. I'm going to try everything I can. Because... I mean, I scrubbed it with my scrub brush. Also, the liquid acrylic paint won't come off either. That's stuck there. This is like all primed and ready to paint from last night. You can see it on my hands. It won't come off. And it's the it's the matte, um, matte medium gel. If anyone has any trick for that, please help a girl out. All right, this is the white gold. This is what I'm going to do my scissors in. This color is gorgeous. Don't really want my little balls there. My zipper. Definitely one up here. Oh, hey, did you answer? Colleen? Do you like using Ranger's scrubby thing? I, I took like a brush and uh, I, I did. I checked via. It wasn't anything important. Maybe baby oil. Okay. I will try all of this. Yes, don't forget the bottle of buttons. Yep, it's coming. It's right. It's going right here. The bottle of buttons is going right there. Right there. I'm gonna go down the side a little bit with this. Hit this with it. At least. The buttons. That metal um, sewing machine key. Oh, don't forget the cameo girl. Ooh. Ooh, she looks pretty. Hit this button. Around the rim of that thing. These waxes. I could bathe in them. I'm serious. Amanda, did you see the two hops I put up in the group? I think I'm done with that. I 
I saw it, Tammy. I actually saw it. I caught you guys at the tail end, and she was just saying goodbye. So I went back and I watched. <laughs> at the beginning, she was like, this is something Scotty tried. Um, yeah, I went back and watched the beginning for a minute. You were talking um, with your friend Alicia when I came in. So, yes, I did catch a tidbit. Oh, see, I just can't get off my hands, you guys. All right. Um, okay, mint sparkle. I don't know if you guys know about this mint sparkle. Literal magic. And it's going to show up gold to you guys, but see how it's green in the tube? It's green. And it's green... When I put it on my hand, it's green, right? But when I put it down on camera, it's going to look like um, it's gold. You can already see it forming in my hand. See how it's got like a two-tone? Yeah. This is beautiful. I don't even know where to start with this. It's so pretty. See how that's looking. Nope. Can see it a little bit where I put it. I can't stream yard. I don't know if you guys can. Such a pretty color. Definitely doing my leaf this color. Definitely doing the leaf this color. I go around this side with it. These buttons. Buttons. These aren't buttons. They're beads. Around here. That gold that comes out with it. It's just wow. This one has really surprised me the most. Especially the day that I was like swatching them. I'm like, uh, this looks gold. That, that dark. Smells really good. Okay, I think I'm going to go and reach for that rich copper because I think those pins need to stand out a little bit more and so does the dress form. The white gold on, um, oh, I need to do the lid. The white gold on the scissors looks great. But I think it just needs a little bit darker uh, than that brushed iron for those. That's really cute. It's going to go right there. Uh-huh. Right there. Stay right there. I 
gonna touch the side of it with this I go down a little bit over the scissors like they're a little patinaed with that hint of green again not a tutorial stop talking Oh my goodness, my stomach is going crazy. Oh, once you start with these things, you can't stop. They're so pretty. Okay, I'm done with that color. Oh, last night I took all my rusty bits out of the container and I have a rust dust bag. That's what I do. A rust dust bag. Uh, Jay, Jay hasn't seen it yet. He's not been here. That's why I haven't been able to take pictures for you guys. Remember he's staying at his friend Amanda? So he hasn't seen it yet. I myself, I love it. I'm, I was just, just so proud. I really was. See, like this just, ooh, ooh. The, it's right there. And it peels like your skin, see? And it peels like you've got like a sunburn, but it won't come off. I don't know. All right. Let me pull out some. Whoa. Sorry. Whoops. Get out of there. Okay, since I'm not using this, I'm just going to throw it away. I got my two stencils right here that need washed. So, yeah, he didn't get to see it yet, huh? Um, I'm going to put this copper on here. I, it's that sorry silk right there. Is a coppery color. Well, I don't know. It's more like a vintage color. There's the copper. Right there. And I'm going to touch these with it. These are the safety pin, the pile of safety pins. Oh, Chobad or. For sure. And the deadly tea pins. Ooh yeah. These things will get ya. I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit just to uh, tie it in. Not a tutorial. Pretty little dress form. Let's grab some of that. Plasters tape. That that's cool too. I'm having days of real right now, you guys. You know what? Get off. You don't want to be on. Get off. Weirdest time to have deja vu. Going down that rick rick, I had it. Get the edges. Here. 
Okay, good. Really? Then you get off too. I'm looking at it as if it were on my wall. Love the cameo girl. She looks really pretty. I'll get close-ups when he gets home with his camera. And put it up there. Oh, his waxes are so cool. Right. Like it. I'm going to get my bag of buttons on and my little quote. So odd, Lori, we had the same quote. Off my hands enough to function. Finger. <sighs> Baby oil. Trying it. Nail polish. Remover, trying it. I will let you know what works. If anything, does. Put these away real quick. Okay. Um, need this brush. Actually, I don't even think I need a brush. I think I'm just going to score it down with that. Where's the front? There's the front. This one dries transparent. Just gonna let that sit there. Does it my thing? Oh, sorry for the word dirty workspace. Okay. It was only four hours. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um I'll bring my camera in closer. So you can see it. Again, doesn't disappoint. This is, it's fun. Very, very fun. I like it a lot. Oh, all right, Jamie, I'll get that as soon as that dries on there then. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. The green on the lid, right? It looks pretty. I like it. I like it. Darkens for the shadow effect. Yeah, I put copper around the edge. I think I'll go back um, when I uh, when it all sets up. Oh, I need the quote. Um, yeah. And put it right over here. So here's my two projects in a row. That was last night. Was a little mini altered tin. Just fun. 
Amanda I made bag of rust dust now. Put them both in there. This is not part of the project. Uh, where's my quote book? Where's the quote book? Oh, we're here. Okay. And I think I want to do it in black. And it was. Let me find it. Hmm. It says, not my monkeys, not my circus. That's funny. Creativity takes courage. That's it. Just saw it. There it is. Creativity takes courage. Of course, I'm going. To, I'm going to ink the edges because you know. I gotta. I'll probably put it down with something else, but for now, just so you get the gist of it. Ooh, it'd be pretty across the scissors, but we have a spot for it. Yeah, I'll definitely have to put it down with something else because it's going down onto lace. And it doesn't. But for right now, that's where it's going. And I might actually pop it up and raise it up a little bit. So I'll try to come up as close as I can. I'll get behind there, Jamie. There's a little buttons. Look at the rick rack down the side. Can you see the guy's face now on the needle thing? And that's like the painter's tape. Look at the cheesecloth right there. The cheesecloth is awesome. Can't see any of the pattern paper that we put down first, but that's okay. Love that uh, stencil. You can see like the stitch line right there. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. This has been fun. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't know. Watch me do something different. Uh, I'm not expert or anything like that. I have no clue what I'm doing. I appreciate everybody's help for sure. Uh, I'm going to clean off my desk now and put all this away. I hope you will please join me tomorrow. Um, at noon, starting at noon, stock your stash. It is a two-day event this week, or this time. Um, that's why I said pack a cooler. Um, I'll post pictures of this in the group as soon as Jaden gets home with his camera. Um, if you will, uh, tell your friends. Tell anyone about the sale, whatever you want to do. Hi, Carla. Good morning. Or afternoon, I've kept... Oh, it is almost 3 o'clock. Are you in... Oh, love your face, Carla. It's almost 3 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, for being a four-hour show, if you don't have anything to listen to and just want some chatter in the background, go for it. Thanks, Tina. You never know where it's going to go, but, like, once you get it, like, all uh, painted, it just seems, like, to take on its own. It's really neat. Um, like, I, the, the edging with the copper and then the green and the white gold on the scissors, love it. I did like the scissors, the way that they looked grungy and, and vintage, that they were cool already to begin with. I do agree with Jamie on that one. Um, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to, to do them up, do them up. And I think I will go around it a little bit more with darker, probably mount that. And that, um, is going to have to sit overnight. But anyways, uh, I love your faces. I hope I see everyone tomorrow at noon. Um, uh, Michelle with two L's is going to be starting out with me first. 
and then Lorel will be joining me. Um, it, the event is posted already if you want to set your reminder for it. And if you want to take a quick second to read the rules underneath, that would be great as well. If I don't have your information, get it to me. Um, if you'd like to make a payment arrangement, well, let me know. Uh, thanks, Lise. This has been so fun. Um, so I'll see you the next two days for Stock Your Stash. All right. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Um, what? The ribbon. What I do? What ribbon? What ribbon? What? What? It's much cooler than you expected. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Go look in the group for the new cotton fuzzy ribbon I found. So cool. Oh, okay. Yes. I will go look at that. Absolutely. If you guys aren't a me member of my Facebook page, the link is down below. Also down below is Mary and Michelle with two L's. Mary is, uh, Michelle's going to follow me up on Sunday, which is the 27th. And then uh, Mary will be the 29th and the 30th. And you're not going to want to miss either of those as well. We are going to keep you busy all weekend and into next week. Um, all right. I love your faces. Thanks for sticking it out for me. I mean, sticking it out with me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta get off of here. <laughs> it's not for kids and it is way too early for not for kids. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. Um, I love this stuff, guys. I'm having fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's I don't know, just... Uh, it's making me like not be in my box and I'm just throwing things on and where it's not, you know, symmetrical. I don't know. Trying something new. We'll see. Okay. I'll shut up now. Bye everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Love your faces. Bye.